back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me or who've never been here before, welcome. Uh, my name is Rachel. I'm the owner of the Eclectic Cottage here in Spokane, Washington. Happy Tuesday and happy Valentine's Day. Uh, I hope you're doing something fun with your sweetheart. If you don't have a sweetheart, maybe do something fun for yourself today. Uh, anyway, I hope you had a great weekend. I know uh, my husband and I got to spend Sunday with friends and family watching the Super Bowl. So that was really nice. Uh, it was nice to get out of the house for a bit. And uh, of course that was after we'd already done our junk run. So I will have a thrift haul for you on Friday, a pretty decent one this go around. So I'm excited for that. And yesterday I did some stuff in my house and then I went out and spent most of the afternoon in my greenhouse. Uh, so got a bunch of seeds planted and got to play with the dirt. So that was really fun. It was a nice way to spend part of my Monday, but boy, the weather yesterday, I think we got like 16 kinds of weather all in one day. It was crazy. Uh, so today is Tuesday and that means I have some sort of a flip or DIY for you and I do have a thrift flip. So um, as you know, if you've watched some of my previous videos, I'm desperately trying to get some of the stuff out of my kitchen and out from underfoot. So I picked actually seven more little things to get done this week and get out. So um, those are all finished and ready and I hope you really enjoy them. And uh, some of them were pretty simple, just, you know, paint and wax and, and whatnot. Some of them were a little more complicated. Really, really happy with how they all came out. Um, and I hope you love the video. <laughs> and uh, if you like content like this and you kind of want to see all the projects that I'm doing here at the cottage and the fun things that I've got going on in my kitchen, AKA my studio, please uh, think about subscribing to my channel and then hitting the little notification bell. And that will let you know when I upload new content. Right now I'm doing Tuesdays and Fridays. You never know if that might change and I might add something or change things around in the future. But for now, that's what I'm sticking to. So um, anyway, without further ado, here are the seven projects that I completed for you for today's video. I hope you like them. Project one is definitely a simple project. I had these two pillar holders in my stash uh, and they are in desperate need of a paint job. So I am just simply pouncing two coats of DIYs old school, waiting for them to dry in between coats, of course. And once that's done, I am taking my DIY white wax and putting that right over the old school and then using a shop towel to simply feather some of that wax off. A really easy makeover for these guys, but I love how they turned out. Project two is another simple one. I have had this little cherub hanging out in my storage area for quite some time. So I decided it was a good time to get him fixed up and out on the floor. So I am doing the same technique here, just two coats of DIYs old school. I'm using my brush and pouncing it on. Uh, I had to get out my small brush to get some of the places I couldn't quite reach with the big one. And then again, just going directly over that paint with DIYs white wax. And I'm just kind of pushing it down into all the little nooks and crannies, feathering it back with my shop towel. A couple places I went back over it just to add a little bit more wax in a couple spots. And then using my shop towel to feather. Um, I had to break out a small brush also for this to get some of the nooks and crannies, but I love how it turned out and I do love how this old school looks with the white wax on it.
Project 3 is another relatively simple one. I got these three candle holders on a pretty recent haul. And I like the colors that they were, but I really wanted to trade them up so that they can uh, fit in better with my display here at the cottage. So the first thing I did was remove the little candle holder parts of them, set those aside, took them outside and gave them a really good coat of a deep brown by Rust-Oleum, let that dry, and then I painted each one a different color. So I did one, this one that I'm distressing right now is faded burlap, that one is crinoline, and then the last one is farm fresh. So I gave them each two good coats of paint, let that dry, came back with my uh, damp shop towel, distressed them to bring some of that lovely detail, a little bit of that dark brown back through the paint and just make them look a little bit more aged. Once that's all done, here I am taking my DIY white wax and giving each one a really good coat of white wax and then using a shop towel to lightly feather some of that excess wax back off of each one. I absolutely love these three colors together. They make me really happy and remind me very much of spring. Last step, put the hardware back on so that they are candle holders once again and they are done. And I really love how they came out. project I really had no intention of even doing anything to when I first bought it I was actually going to just leave it the way it was but then as I was looking at it I thought you know this would look better painted so away I went <laughs> so first thing I did was take it outside give it a really good coat of white by Rust-Oleum decided I didn't like the white on the inside of it so I took it back outside and sprayed just the inside of the bowl with a creamier color by Rust-Oleum. Once that was done, I pounced two coats of old school all over and then followed that up with my white wax, just like the last projects. So I, <laughs> as much as I wasn't going to paint this, I am so happy I did. I really, really am loving this old school with that white wax on it. is one of those that I've had sitting around for a while. I got this little metal tray. I painted it black with Rust-Oleum spray paint and then there it sat. Couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with it. So I finally decided that I would paint it white and then distress it. So that's what I did. I just used my DIY white swan and gave it two good even coats, top and bottom. Once that was dry, I took my shop towel and brought some of that black back through the paint just to really show off some of that cute scalloped edge and the detailing in the rungs. And once that was dry, I took my DIY Big Top, gave it one good even coat of Big Top all over, and it was finished. And I can't tell you how happy I am with how this looks now that it's done.
six is by far the most complicated of these projects and it's also the smallest, but whatever. So this little birdhouse had these etched flowers and leaves on it and I decided I wanted a smooth surface for painting. So the first thing I did was use my wood putty and just filled all of that in and took it outside and sanded everything smooth and got it all ready for paint. Then I took it back inside and for the first go round, I used DIYs, Farm Fresh and Crinoline and gave it a paint job and then decided I didn't like that color combo on this piece. So I traded it up and went with DIYs, uh, letterpress gray and white instead. And I liked that color better, but when I sat back, it looked a little plain. So I decided on the front of it, I wanted to put a mold. So I grabbed a lock and key mold by IOD and some air dry clay. And I put a little bit of flour in the mold, put some air dry clay in there, pushed it down really hard, made sure it was all nice and flat. I flipped it over, let that mold kind of fall out. Um, and then I used E6000 to adhere it to the front of the birdhouse around the perch. Once that was done, I decided to put some decoupage paper on the sides. So I measured each side, uh, cut out some of the neutral florals decoupage paper, and used a good coat of liquid patina to put that down, and then coated it with a coat of liquid patina once that paper was down. The last step here is wax. So I took DIY's white wax and just went over all of the painted surfaces with one good coat of wax and used my shop towel to wipe some of that back. And as a last step, I took some DIY dark wax and filled in around that little uh, detail mold and made it just stand out a little bit more. And then kind of went over the all the white with just a really light coat of dark wax, wiped it back with my paper towel, and I love how this little birdhouse ends up. Project 7 is inspired by a lampshade I got recently and I had had this lamp base sitting around. I painted it originally and never really cared for the particular paint colors that I chose and so it's time for an update. I used DIY's crinoline and pounced on the first coat to let that dry, went over that with a second coat and a soft little brush let that dry and then used my DIY uh, white wax and my wax brush to give it a good coat of white wax and wiped back any excess with a shop towel. Once that was done, it was pretty, but it needed some pizzazz. So I went through with an artist brush and my DIY dark wax and painted the wax into all of the little details in this piece. And let me tell you, it really gave it a lot of beautiful patina, a little bit of age, and just made all of those details stand out really beautifully. Uh, I also went over the whole piece with a very, very dry brush and some dark wax, just again to give it all a little bit of age and patina. And I absolutely love how it came out.
from here for today. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And I would love to know which of the projects your favorite one was. So please comment below and let me know. And uh, if you like my content, remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the little notification bell. I also wanted to remind you that all the DIY products you saw me using in today's video are available not only here in my shop, but also on my web, web shop at www.theeclecticcottagespokane.com. Uh, anyway, I hope you have a great rest of your week and I hope you'll join me back here on Friday for my thrift haul. Can't wait to show you some of the cool stuff we got and happy Tuesday, happy Valentine's Day and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.